29 through um, A through F, what you have to do is remember that exact values, exact values mean no decimals. So you have to rely back on your triangle. So the first thing you do is it says cosine of 210. So 180 gives me here. So 210 is about there. But I only want to know what angle that is. So if from here to there is 180, how can I find out what this angle right there is? So I'm going to go 210 minus 180. If I go 210 minus 180, that gives me a 30 degree. If this is a 30, that means across from the 30 is a 1, and then adjacent is the square root of 3 with the hypotenuse of 2. This right here is in the negative, so this is negative, and this also is negative, so that's negative. So now we have to do the cosine. So we have cosine is your Sally could tell Oscar had a hat on always. So your cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So my adjacent is the negative square root of 3 over 2 for my answer. When you are doing A through F, that's what you have to do. Two things you have to remember. First thing is that pi equals how many degrees? 180. So I would convert these to degrees and then do your triangles. When you, um, after you're finding your angles, if ever you fall on your axes, you have one of two choices. You have a choice to go to the unit circle or plug it into your calculator. Because if you put in your calculator, you're going to get, in the, or the unit circle, remember, you're going to get zeros or ones. So your answers are going to be either one or negative one, which you can definitely put in your calculator. The only thing is exact values just means no decimal. Zero and one or negative one are no decimals. So you can definitely put that into your calculator. Yes? Wait, like when I put in Yes. Yep. As long as you know that what this equals in decimal and the other equals in decimal, yes. I mean, if you, yep. Yep. All right. Remember, um, a period. A period. It says, what is the period of sine and cosine? A period is how long does it take your graph from where it starts? To where it finishes so from here to here how long is it so remember it's going and it's going to repeat over and over again and remember these points come from our unit circle so that was 0 90 180 270 360 so the period of both functions is 360 degrees again remember you can write anything on your paper so you want to make sure you have that yes um, okay, good good question. It always goes alphabetical. So when you do X, Y is your point. X is first, Y is second. Alphabetical, cosine would come first, sine would come next. So that means that cosine is my X, sine is my Y. It's always alphabetical. Um, fifty-three. It all of these ones are just like the ones on your um, on your chapter twelve um, quiz. So I want you to try those first. Um, some of you st have it done, but some of you are still working on that. So I want to give you guys that opportunity to finish those up. Um, I will tell you on this one. What you want to do is think about what is the center of this? What is the center of this circle? Three zero. And what then is its radius? 
And now you should be able to find an equation using your equations. Over here, 53, and I will do the rest of them tomorrow, but I'm going to give you guys time to work on them today. 53 is your Richter scale. Does anybody remember how much does a Richter scale go up each time? 10. So remember, so we would have, you're going 10 to something. So the first one was 0.8. So it wants to know 10 to the 8.5 over, and then it says 10 to the 4.3. It wants to know the difference, so we would subtract these, so we get 10 to the 4.2, and you would throw that into your calculator. And the last one I'm going to talk about, unless you guys have specific questions, is 56. 56, what you have to do is the first thing you want to do is to know that absolute values looks like a V. But you really need to know where this vertex is. So remember, its vertex is wherever it makes zero. So what would make that zero? Two. So the point two zero is my vertex. Then I have to pick a point that's to each side of two. So I would pick like maybe one and three. And you'd find your y values and plot those points. And I'm going to leave you to be able to do that. All right. Other than those that I just talked about, I know a couple of you said that you did it as much as you could. Questions that you have specifically today, and then tomorrow I'll finish it up. What makes what makes yeah. this zero? You want to make it equal to zero. Yeah, because this vertex is going to be on the y-axis, so you want you want it to be ze you want this to be zero. Yep. Yep, or the x, I mean on the x-axis. So when it's on the x-axis, y has to be zero. So you want this to be zero, so what would make that zero? Yep, yep. Any other ones? All right, so again, you're going to finish this up, look at your chapter 11 review, and your 13.1 to 13.6 review. Questions on anything? For 52. For 52. Mm -hmm. When you do 52, what I want what I want you to do is to pull this out. It's right here. So this one is your A, and that's your B. And try to see if you can put it into that. Yes, equals. That's right.